Our relationships to each other and the earth are in deep trouble. They've been for a long time, from the horrors of the slave trade, a world built through genocide and colonization, to the destruction of our environment. We're living in times of perpetual crisis, inequalities, and human-made disasters. The Caribbean Sea and these islands bear witness to extraction, exploitation, dependence, vulnerability, and new kinds of colonial rule. Colonialism still impacts us today, even if we don't fully see it. We have some serious healing to do, from ourselves to communities to institutions. And the hard truth is, we're not free, and we need serious change. I believe we start first with ourselves, deliberately with self-care that extends to community healing. Not selfish self-care, but care of self for community. Care that attends to past traumas and injustice, Care that is political, care that embraces all. This is my vision for decolonial healing justice. You see, we were born with the fierce power of our ancestors' outrageousness and audacity to survive. I am woman, black feminist, Caribbean, and queer. I've been womanish long time, and so I dare to imagine a world where people of color can be human and free. I dream revolution and liberation sexually, spiritually, and radically. I come from poor and working class struggle. I come from black mothers, grandmothers, and aunties who worked hard to make sure I could do the things they couldn't. And I worked extra hard to make it happen for myself and for those who sacrificed for me and before me. I remember shame of being poor, of domestic and working class jobs, of broken families and secrets, of addiction, abuse, and too much violence. I am a survivor and no longer ashamed. Audre Lorde says self-care is self-preservation and an act of political warfare. So for me, decolonial healing justice begins with radical acts of self-care and intentional black love extends to healing wounds of our past that affect us still, healing family violence, and loving, embracing blackness and queerness. Now this is active struggle against racism, sexism, homophobia, transphobia, classism, and other forms of hate and control. This means releasing self-hate, breaking silences about harm and abuse. This means working on myself as much as I work on anything else. This is not easy. It's hard and messy work, ongoing and sometimes painful. But change starts with healing of bodies, minds, spirits, to community, to the planet. And so change must be guided by an intersectional feminist politics, a consciousness of race, class, ethnicity, gender, sexuality, ability, and origin, an understanding and respecting of all our differences, and a fearless demand for accountability. Decolonial means not just understanding that colonialism still affects us, 
but also challenging systems of oppression and uncovering pathways from our ancestors. We must revisit, update, and activate knowledge for our future survival. These pathways are spiritual and sexual healing, empowerment of self, community care, and working for justice and freedom. Everything is connected, and so change begins with self to create radical, sustainable change. To be in community means being honest with self and being accountable to each other and every person around us. For us in the Caribbean, I believe we need a reckoning. We must change oppressive structures that do not serve the majority. We must confront power and privilege, silences about race, class, anti-blackness, and colorism. We must reject respectability and harmful gender norms. Embrace spiritual practices of our ancestors and build a regional identity with indigenous and first peoples at the center. These are my reasonings for decolonial healing justice. Five elements, burn, resist, act, care, and elevate. Number one, burn. Regeneration, renewal, cosmic fire. Dismantle, destroy everything. Burn it down. Let go of all we think we know. Purge harmful beliefs and release. Be passionate about recreating every part of self to every living flame. Soul restoration through creativity and meaningful solidarity. Be ready for spirit earth work. Number two, resist. Deconstruct colonial lies. Believe deeply in self and the ancestors who made our survival possible. Find your place, your work, what you are here to do, guided by spirit. Learn from discomfort. Defy white supremacy and any system of control. Number three, act. Create warrior vibrations and protection like metal. Secure self for community and nature connection. Restore creative, spiritual, and sexual self as a priority. Activate radical honesty and gratitude. Be as strong, fierce, and bold as our rebellious ancestors rooted in defiance and revolutionary struggle. Be ready for war. Number four, care. Compassion and empathy like the power of water. The ability to transform and be both vulnerable and invaluable. Engage intentional practices of self-care and share these in community. Flow with joy, love, hope, laughter, dance, and poetry. Be the inspiration for change that replenishes. Number five, elevate. Walk with spirit blessings and take flight. Channel abundance through creative frequencies and soar. Let the power of our ancestors speak through you and use their power. Inhale deep swells of knowledge within and around us. Let our wings expand and be deliberate in our healing for justice. This is brace challenging us to seek rebellion and joy, to listen to each other, ourselves and the earth, to make furious and beautiful our survival. Let us brace, 
rejuvenate with self-care, learn from the past and rebuild our communities and transform our world. Create healing justice.